All right. I'm sorry about that. Good morning again. Good morning, Advent. I tried to start this before and it didn't. Um, my camera disappeared. So welcome. Welcome to this Advent devotion for December 2nd. Our word for today is way. Good Advent word. Um, think of all the ways, all the ways that we use the word way. Uh, no way, yes way, way to go, my way or the highway, which way, this way. All of them um, indicating a path, a path forward, a path you don't want to go, a path you're looking for, a path um, that's before you. And of course, in Advent, we are preparing the way for Jesus. And that is part of our scripture reading for this weekend from Luke chapter 3. This is this is our gospel, at least um, part of well, I'll read the whole thing. Uh, Luke chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. In the 15th year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip, ruler of the region of Ituria, and Braconitis, and Licinius, ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas. Impressive, right? The word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Prepare the way of the Lord. What does that mean? You think about um, the descriptions, the images of mountains being made low and valleys being lifted up, rough being smoothed out, crooked being made straight. One way that we can um, interpret this is that there are parts of our lives that are crooked, um, that are rough because of our sin because of things that we do that are um, that are not God's ways. Remember, um, oh, I won't go there, kind of down a rabbit hole. Uh, so what is it in our lives that we need to straighten out, that we need to smooth out? What are some ways that we have put ourselves above others um, in judgment that we need to take a good hard look at our thoughts and actions and also what are some ways that we put ourselves down that we say that you know these valleys that shall be lifted up maybe we're in a valley maybe we um, take on negative messages about ourselves I'm not good enough um, I made mistakes that was stupid um, I'm not beautiful what how are we too hard on ourselves or how are we taking on as our identity messages that other people give us um, that are negative. All sorts of ways that we can look at this text and think about our own lives and the world that we live in. Right now we're in a still in a time of the pandemic, um, not as in some ways, not as critical as before there was a vaccine, but in, um, but still very concerning. Um, and this is not something we've experienced before. So we're struggling to find our way forward, to know what to do when we've never done it this way before. Ooh, that sound familiar? And yet we do know the way. We do know the way in, in troubles and 
because undergirding all of our ways that we choose to go, that we're sent um, by others, that we're asked to go by others, is God's way. There is Jesus who said in John 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. In this reading from Luke, perhaps we could look at it a different way. And that it is God. It doesn't say that we have to make the mountains low and the valleys lifted up. In fact, how can we in the big picture? We can't on our own. And it is God who shall lift up every valley and make the mountains low and make the crooked straight and make the rough ways smooth. It is God who is breaking down every barrier in order to be with us. And God broke that barrier in the incarnation when not even heaven could get in the way, the distance between heaven and earth, which in the big picture um, is no distance at all. God became human. Think of all that God did to take on human flesh, to make God's self vulnerable, to be God with us. Jesus says, I am the way. I am God with you. To make God's way visible to you. You know, we do know the way. Jesus has shown us the way of love and mercy and forgiveness, the way of courage, the way of boldness. What is, what way are you walking this Advent? What is in your way? Which way are you going that you would choose to go? And is there another way that you wish you could go? I have a poem from Jan Richardson called Blessing the Way. But before that, um, she has some questions for us. What path are you traveling this Advent season? What do you find along the way that can help you create the road as you go? Sorry about the squeaks, that's my dog. What has helped to fashion the path and provided inspiration to walk it in your own manner? How might you prepare the way and become a part of the way for the Christ who comes to you, who comes to us all? And her poem, Blessing the Way. With every step you take, this blessing rises up to meet you. It has been waiting long ages for you. Look close and you can see it, the layers of it. How it has been fashioned by those who walked the road before you. How it has been created of nothing but their determination and their dreaming. How it has taken its form from an ancient hope that drew them forward and made a way for them when no way could be seen. Look closer and you will see this blessing is not finished. That you are a part of the path it is preparing. That you are how this blessing means to be a voice within the wilderness and a welcome for the way. Jesus has shown us the way. Those who have gone before us have walked the way and we follow in their footsteps. And now you, you are part of the way. And there are those who are watching each of us as God's people, looking for hope. And there is God making us light and making us hope, not only for our own sake, but also for the sake of others. Before I offer a blessing, um, I just want to say I think I have uh, been overly ambitious by saying I'm going to do this live every single weekday morning. So in 
starting next week, I very well may be post recording this um, ahead of time and having it scheduled to post at 6 in the morning. Um, there are some days like yesterday where it's just a really long day and it is hard to get up at um, 5.40 or whenever I need to get up to prepare this. So one way or another, um, this devotion will be on our Facebook page, either live or posted at 6 a.m. every weekday morning, um, continuing next week and the week after that, all the way up to December through December 23rd. So blessings on your way this day, my friends, and we shall see you when you find your way to our Savior's Church. God bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen.